Well, let me just say, they gave you a whole long thing to say about Howard here, but let me just start with, the book is number one, he is the best-selling author now in the <laughs> is the fastest selling autobiography ever uh, put out by Simon Schuster, probably the fastest selling book in general by Simon Schuster. Please welcome the one, the only, Howard Stern. She's been dating all these old men, but she dated a younger man recently, Let's didn't you? Talk. Give me a kid. Come on. First of all, sit down. I'm going to sit right here. Put the book down. Relax. I want you to relax. I want you to relax. You've got to sign the book. No, no, no. I want you to relax for a minute. Stop with the interview. Sign... Relax and let's get romantic. No, my... my... Tell me I'm not looking better since the you last time I came on. How, how did I look on the cover of my book? Very, very, very... And you're not attracted to that? Oh, God, You Howard. would not want to make love to that? Howard. You don't want to make love to me? I can't wait. Give me a kiss with your mouth. Oh, God. Give me a kiss. Come on, I really want to try it. I never had it with an old woman. Yeah, well, Come on, let me do I'm it. I'm not going to start How old are you? Howard, Give me a kiss. What is the big deal? Give me a kiss. Howard... Why are you pretending that you don't want a kiss? Give me a kiss. Why are you pretending Shut like you don't want it? Why are you doing this? Shut your eyes! Why are you doing this? Shut I'm not shutting my eyes. I want to kiss you I, like a romantic oh, kiss. Please, you've got, Howard. You've been in movies, right? Howard, I'm gay. Now get off my lap. Give me a kiss. Come on, try it. Just try it once. Why wouldn't you do it? Because I'm I going, don't have AIDS. I'm going out She's with so somebody. I'm going out with somebody. And unlike you, Howard, yeah. who obviously your poor wife has taken AIDS test every day. Oh, come I on. <laughs> I, have never made, I have never made love to another woman beside my wife for the last 19 years. What I'm saying is it'll be the safest kiss <laughs> that you ever had. And you're not attracted at all. I'm be Howard, I am steamy. Our lips will entwine. Give me a little. Give me a kiss on the cheek. Steamy street. inside. Come on, come on. Do it now. Get it over with. Your bra off. <laughs> take it off. Take off your bra. You take off your pants. All right. All right, now sit down. For look a at second. you. You know, it's a funny thing with Joan. You look at I Joan. I love you so much. Joan, you look terrific. You really do look terrific. And I said, you know, I um, I was backstage and I wanted an autographed picture of Joan for someone I know because yes. you're a famous star. So I get this back. Yeah. Now this has got to be. This is 1963. Look at the Emmys. <laughs> Right on the bottom, it says 1963. Joan, you haven't looked like this in years. That was, that was two years ago. This is really two years ago? Two years ago. And this is not airbrushed or anything? Airbrushed to the point that you can't find my I nose. I have an idea. I have an idea for you. I have an idea for you. I yeah. think during the next rating sweep yeah. in November, yeah. you ought to do a show without any makeup. Oh, sure. I would like to see what Joan looks like without the makeup. <laughs> Why not? This is a man... Excuse me, who brings his own makeup and hairdresser with him now, too? It is true. I brought my own makeup and hairdresser with me. Yes. That is very true. Let but I'll tell you something. I learned, I learned my lesson from you, Joan. Okay. Always look the best you can, Howard. And right. that's why you're looking good, because you took lessons from me, finally. You right. pull yourself together, and you make the best. Well, look what you have made out of yourself, Well, Howard. thank you. It is the fastest-selling book in the history of Simon & Schuster. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to have the best-selling book in the world. I'm going to get a troll, uh, get tons of money for this book. Yes. I'm going to save my money up, and then I'm going to drop dead. God and my me. wife's going to be in bed with some young punk. <laughs> it's going to be great. Right. Your wife loves you very much. You probably would wait till after the shiver. Yes, Joan exactly. <laughs> and Joan, of course, you know Joan jokes. Joan. Joan jokes, but. But she hardly waited to have sex. Oh, she really yeah, did. Right. You really hardly waited. Right. How do you even know I have it now? Well, wait till the body's cold before yeah. you have sex Howard. next time, for God's sake. I, I, Can I ask you a we, question during yeah. the show? Why are people talking during the show? This is I, like being at a movie in Harlem. I agree with you. Where all the black people start screaming at the screen. What is it? Why don't you calm down over there? I, I wanted to hear about your whole family now. Is You know, it's no longer just you. Your mother's 
going to book signings? Yes. Your father, your sister. I mean, this has done havoc to your family, This right? book is my worst nightmare. My mother was supposed to show up even here today, but she, yeah. I'm not letting her appear anywhere. Yeah, because? Because I can't take it anymore. The woman now has become a publicity hound. She went out to a, a candy store and started making appearances when my book came out. <laughs> These were the same parents who told me I was nothing, that I was dirt, that I was worthless. Right. Now they're running around with my book like I'm some kind of genius. Yeah, yeah. But they never said you were nothing. Weren't they my behind you? My father put me down every step of the way. He called me an idiot and a moron. I go into it in my book. Every day of my life, my father called me an idiot, a moron, and I would amount to nothing. Now I got a hit book out. I got the number one book in the country. My father's sitting there at my first book sign. He goes, Boy, you got a beautiful signature. <laughs> I go, you're kidding. I have a beautiful signature. He goes, yeah, you have a beautiful... He says, and you sign so fast. I could never sign fast like that. You're a friggin' genius. <laughs> I go, you rat bastard. Where were you when I was young? I have a special person we asked to review the book for you because you've gotten so much publicity, so we wanted to find out what the real critics have to say about it. So we went via satellite, via satellite now, to the Vanna White Literary Guild, yes. all right? And here is our first bimbo book review of the Howard Stern book by Rhonda Shear. There's Rhonda. Rhonda doesn't know a thing. Look at that. I'm Rhonda Shear, and I am president of the Bimbo Book Society, and it wasn't easy getting elected either. I had to run against some girl named, uh, Uncontested. <laughs> Weird name, huh? First off, I'd like to say hello to my favorite author. Unfortunately, Sidney Sheldon couldn't be here, so I'm going to talk about Howard's book instead. Now, as you know... Are you out of your mind? <laughs> I tried... I tried are you, to are be... you Are you serious over there? I'm very With that cleavage? As, as you know, I, I try to keep abreast you know, of all the new books, Rhonda. and I found this book to be very titillating. Let's You'll give yourself to Larry let's, King. Let's talk, about, let's talk about the cover. Right. Howard, uh, yes? I've got three words of advice for the next cover. Wear a bra. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Rhonda, me, say something not, nice before you go. You look great. Oh. Oh, yep. oh I, I will totally say something nice before I go. First of all, I absolutely Hey, Rhonda, love why don't you talk about how you want to sleep with me? Oh. I do. She I does. Do. She's, you're totally I, I in love with me. And if I you sleep with Larry doesn't... King, there's about 30 other guys here who want to date. <laughs> Come out with you. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, Rhonda. We I have to go to commercial, my darling. I have to kiss up to him because I have to be in his next book. You will be. Don't worry. You look okay. great. Thank you, Rhonda, Thank very you. much. Whose that, idea was that, Joan? Not mine. All right. <laughs> we're going to cut that out in editing. Not mine. All right, go ahead. Yes. Good job, yeah, Joan. We're, 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 <laughs> we were having a great time, and you have to put that on. I know. I that know. Was a bimbo book review. <laughs> hey, Conan O'Brien just called. He needs some writers. He wants to hire some more show. Chevy Chase. What about him? <laughs> in my book, in my... In your the book, reason, your best-selling book. Joan, the reason this book is caught on because it's filled with the truth. Yes, it is. I wrote about Chevy Chase in my book, and I predicted that by the time the book came out, Chevy Chase would be off the air. And I was off by half a week. I yeah. said it would take six weeks. It was five and a half weeks. How can they do it that fast? How is it that... First of all, when you were on Fox, you had like a three-share, four-share, something yeah. like that. They were doing pretty good with you. They get rid of you. I don't know how anyone in their mind could do business with Fox. You have to be crazy to do business with Fox because, watch, I'll go do business with Fox. Yeah, but, uh, no, I would, because yeah. I am crazy. But first of all, I predicted that Chevy Chase would do poorly, that he was out of touch, that he wasn't funny, that, uh, you know, I was very, very blunt in the book. I know, deep in my heart, that if I was on against um, Jay Leno and uh, David Letterman, that I would beat them hands oh, down. Oh, you know, question about I know that. No question.